Hello, Brings. Thanks for joining us. This is the chat portion of the webinar. So, I'm running a little bit late than I usually do, but uh, it's okay. All right, here we go. All right, uh, all right, connection to the higher self and higher vibrational energies. Marianne, any messages for me? Um, uh, you know, there's a lot of feline energies around you. You are knowing more about yourself. You're also connecting to internal magic. So uh, manifesting, this is the, the year of manifestation. Any message from Mother Mary? Yeah, you're healing uh, your higher self. You had a, I would say, a disconnect from your higher self. A lot of negativity in the past that you're clearing at this time. Also, father energies that you're releasing. So, yeah, it's deep-rooted, of course. Gundium, any messages from close my close guides? Uh, you're going into a new energy field. So, let's see, this month, even by, you know, this month still has, a, you know, a couple more days ago. There should be an energy change before the end of the month. Any messages from Prime Creator? I just see the arts drawing, the arts that you're doing. So continue on that uh, path. Let me check something real quick here. Just continue what you're doing on that uh, front. And then do a drawing, whatever you're doing. I'll come through what needs to. Carol, any, are there any messages for me? Um, you're doing, yes, yeah, self-manifestation. Also, I do see Mother Mary's energy of basically your letting go of old cords of... Uh, I just see a lot of reptilian energies that you're releasing. Uh, yeah, it's connected to some some timelines that you're connected to, others are connected to. So you're healing those. Doesn't mean they're going to disconnect from you, but just timelines that you're managing at this time on the earth. Um, I'm not sure if any of that's going to help you in this life, but <laughs> I'll just leave that out to, yeah. <clears throat> Let's put it this way. There are, there are timelines that you're, you're, you're governing, you're taking care of. I'll have to go into that. That's interesting, which makes sense. I don't hear that very often, actually. Are there any messages for me from Prime Creator? Yeah, just keep doing your, uh, you know, giving your, you know, not giving your energy to others, but connecting to others. You're, you're bringing out the better of other people. So continue on that. Uh, Pamela, are there any messages from Archangel Gabriel? Uh, yeah, you're you're doing a, you're in the creation mode this year. You're a creator, so whatever that you wish to create is well. For now on, it's gonna that energy is gonna be with you stronger than it ever has been before. Question two: Are there any messages from my higher self? You're doing a balance. Feeling energies. Uh, Jeshua's energies. Your you're balancing yourself overall in the long run. Symmetry. Had a lucid dream this morning and was very aware I was in a dream. So I tried to summon my guides by calling uh, out to them, but they never showed. I wanted to know why no one appeared when it was perfect opportunity for them to give me a message. Well, this is you getting used to them. Well, you're connecting more to yourself. So... That shows that I think that you're you're kind of disconnected from your guides to a, sort of to a certain degree, but that's okay. Yeah, it, that that's all right. Um, but that's good. It shows that you're making a, a connection with them. Yeah, you're kind of. I mean, you get messages for them, so this is a good. I mean, this is good that you're reaching out to them. So this is this is progress. We we'll get that way. So, well, sometimes you don't want to hear what they have to say. <laughs> I think it's had something to do with it. That's okay, though. This is still a very positive, though. It is very cryptic, though. Uh, Steven, I've been told I have something to do with the aliens for his contract. Contact, can you ex Yeah, it's... it's um, first off, the, not that you have any fear, but to heal the fear within yourself, if there are any. It's to get that idea of uh, 
Yeah, the idea of you you getting you know this might take years, but yeah, you're getting stronger with it. Any messages? Um, yeah, I, yeah, everything's going to take a while. So you're balancing. I just see the color gray. I think that's a cryptic message there that you're healing. I think that's the Zeta connections that you're healing. So I'm going to see you with that. Uh, Kenny and Dance, any messages for me? Uh, I do see manifestation energies are getting closer to you, but also your angels are getting stronger with you. So I do see, what is that? The, um, oh, what do you call it? The, um, Inception? In the movie Inception, you're connected to that type of reality. That's probably pretty cool. Yeah, you're, yeah a dream within a dream within a dream within a dream. That's That's your reality. Uh, a <laughs> uh, question two. That's our Arturian, Arturian connection too. Any other messages? Yeah, you're you're drawing out new energies. So I feel like you're connected to a snake kingdom that you're healing to, another reality. Um, so what does that have to do with here? Well, there's a lot of reptilian manipulation. So think about a reptilian version of Earth, where you see nothing but reptilian energies. I believe you're part of more of a positive side of it. Uh, but yeah, it just how do you look at the world? Like if you see a reptilian statue, for example, or anything, or the Vatican, what do you feel from it? I feel like your psychic abilities are getting stronger. Maddie, uh, what was the answer to, and my guy told me that that would get rid of my stutter? Was it give it time? So your pressure, I mean, this is good to have. Um, I think there was an actress or something that said she got rid of her stutter. Some kind of Hollywood actress that overcame her stutter. So maybe looking at how other people overcame their stutter will give you a, yeah, look online of how other people did it and figure out what works for you. Uh, what is the trauma from my past life that my soul is holding on that is causing me to stutter in this one? What does my soul want from me? Well, you didn't always say what was on your mind in previous incarnations. You kept a lot of it in. So it's like, okay, if you're not going to if you're not going to say, if you're not going to speak, it got removed. So yeah, sometimes you kept things back and other people got hurt. Uh, not that you hurt anybody. Sometimes you're afraid to tell the truth or to say anything. You just kept to yourself. And, you know, I think we're all part of that to some degree. It just kept happening, happening in previous incarnations. So this is just a reminder. It's like you have a voice. Now you are you know how to use it. So, yeah, this is one way to get you to talk more, isn't it? Or talk less, right? But you want to talk, though, and that's good. So you got to take it away, and now you want it back. So that's what I see there. Makes sense. Amy, my friend told me about an office job with the government for a service that I could apply for. What do my guides have to say about this? Am I on something? Yeah, it's a good energy. It's a good start. I don't know if you want to be there forever. But you never know if you can move up in that in the yeah government jobs are you know cushy, of course they're not as wonderful. But you know it's something. Uh, but it is connecting with nature, so maybe you can move up uh, if you want to. I think you can. Yeah, I mean that's. You now realize also of uh, some state parks do get closings and things like that, especially the government shutdowns and stuff. Just to be aware of that. You know, just to save up in case something like that happens. Question two, my great grandma Olive was was she psychic and what is our connection other than her being my great grandmother? Well, she was aware of her ability. She was a daughter of yours in a previous incarnation. So yeah. Yeah, we have multiple connections, so just follow that connection. On our rigs. Oh, you like the astrology stuff? Cool. Yeah, all right. I'm gonna start doing that here and there. It feels, I've been guided to do that. I think it's good. Yeah, so I'm gonna start going through, I might even make one of my main videos about astrology 
Uh, so it's just, you know, astrology is for normal people, <laughs> you can say, technically. So it's safe. Uh, there's a lot of stuff there. So I think it's a, it gives me a break from everything else, you can say. Uh, yeah, it gives me a break. I talk about the music people and all that. Not everybody wants to hear about them. I don't blame you. So, but it's something different. All right. Uh, question one: Our family friend, Daddy Hawkins, passed on two twenty. Oh, that's interesting. Two twenty twenty twenty. Can you tell me anything about his crossing? How is he doing? Well, yeah, that's like a. You know, it's like the energies of Earth is like a perfect time to pass to leave the Earth. Yeah, I should have made a video just of that title, but yeah, that has some significant energies to it. It's like safe passage. Yeah, for him, definitely. So, yeah, he's doing, well, you know, he's having a rough time. I mean, he's doing well, but, you know, he's, he wants to be part of the physical world, and, you know, that's a tough. So just send him love. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, just, you know, we go from a physical world to a non-physical world. It's still kind of rough because they want to come back here because they're used to being here. And there's others that are just glad to get out of here. So, anyway. Question question two. Can you say whether he, Daddy H, is with his big... Is with his uh, friend Big John after you cross? Yeah. Are they on adventure? Well, I don't know if they're on adventure yet. But, yeah. they Yeah, Big John was there when he crossed over. All of those are loved ones. I mean, everybody's different, but... It seems like his loved ones were there. So, yeah, it's fine. Uh, you know, he's, uh, they're going fishing. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> However they do that. <laughs> Susie, what have I been doing in astral? Uh, healing your higher self. I think I mentioned some of that. It's also, you bring in a lot of amphibian energies for healing. Amphibian um, is, you know, I don't know. If, if you connect to a frog vibration, it is very... Uh, multi-dimensional so go by what you feel on that uh there's definitely amphibian realities that are connected to are there any messages for me oh uh, you're type yeah you're tapping into your higher self higher consciousness learning more about you're healing the physical your physical i think you're becoming less physical over time too feels like you're kind of disconnecting from this reality as you probably feel that you're not leaving but you are disconnecting from it uh, you're just going more into the astral realm, but you're not leaving the earth, but you're just becoming more astral. So it's a blessing and a curse, as you know. Uh, Jim F, I have a, I have, have I product? Yeah, I can't read. Uh, have I been productive in astral past few weeks? Uh, yeah, more than usual. I see a lot of giants around you. I see a lot of Arcturian beings around you. It all has a lot to do with creativity and also moving. Possibly you might move in the physical when the time is right, but not yet. Any messages for me? You know, I see like lakes and rivers that you go to in astral are all lit up. Like a, like an energy beam, like a just a, you know, just energy coming from the oceans, from lakes, rivers. And it's just the reality of, uh, yeah, of the unknown, you can say. Yeah, it's just like a, it's in a higher astral. It's it's like you take somebody there and then you can go into another dimension, another reality through water. Yeah, it's just like a, a, a place of passage. It's probably more to it than that, but you're also very connected to the hawk beings. Um, yeah. Uh, Henry, any, uh, can anyone from the Galactic family please explain to me what's going on with me? My vocals have been suppressed, as well as my mind. I also manipulate. I feel like that. I stand trans stale. Yeah, you're going more. Yeah, well, your body's changing. Yeah, it's connecting more to astral. That's a lot to do. Yeah, you're actually. Yeah, you're just focusing more in the astral world, becoming less. I would say you're becoming less physical to a certain degree. But not fully. But yeah, it has to do with your mission, the Earth's energies. Your Earth is, yeah, its timelines are shifting, so your vocals are shifting too. Doesn't mean anything huge is going to happen, but I see what's going on in China. 
things are shifting. So I don't think you're getting attacked. You might feel that way. But I think you're just shifting with the earth. So, yeah, you just... There's a lot of different things going on there. If there's anything there, it's the men in black trying to shut you up. <laughs> That's another way of looking at it. So you're connecting more to your spiritual self. And I think it's men in black trying to close you down, but... It's okay to keep working on it. Do I have any messages from anyone from Planet Pluto? That's funny. <clears throat> yeah. There are no dogs there. Um, yeah, it's a it's a healing place for you. It's a place where I think you're also funny. I feel like you're a king there at one time. Not your typical king, but you did have a, a very high pr high level presence there. Yeah, a king of Pluto. That's funny. <clears throat> yeah. So you come to this world, it's like, <laughs> I don't think you're getting karma from that, but no, this world's something different. But anyway, we're used to that, that world of uh, luxury, you can say. So that's why this makes this world even harder. So that was different. Uh, Eric N., any messages? From, for me, from the Illuminati, yeah, they know you well. Uh, you're kind to them. You're not, you know, you talk to them a lot. There's a bird being that you talk to, a carrion being. Um, you're also healing your uh, plate, your Pleiadian ancestry with the earth. So they're not saying what that means, but hmm. does Archangel Gabriel have any messages for me? Yeah, you're in a transition of going into even Anunnaki connections you have, like higher knowledge of their uh, collective that you're bringing in. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you're aware of that. <clears throat> yeah. Even as an Anunnaki angel, yeah, you have a lot of Anunnaki past connections. Uh, Emmanuel, oh, he already can answer the webinar, I believe. Uh, Miles, uh, blessings, any messages from spirit? I see a lot of insectoids around you that you're healing. Also, you're healing more about yourself. Uh, Multi-dimensional insectoid, it goes to different dimensions. Interesting. You know, Doctor Who, that's what you're connected to. That's neat. <laughs> you're similar to that. Not exactly, but you're very you're connected to that type of reality. Yeah, so you can go into a phone booth, you, whatever it is. That makes a lot of sense. Welcome to the fourth dimension. Any messages from my beings that are currently around me? Yeah, so you got a message like that. It shows you're opening up more. There also so many alien beings, like Zeta beings, that don't even have a face. Faceless alien beings. They just don't want to show themselves here. So you're connecting new species. But, uh, yeah, I see white alien beings that, I would say humanoid. Yeah, like a new race of human, but they're not saying any details on that. I'm not sure if that's any health, but it's on another planet like, like Zordak, Zorak, Zorak world, something like that. Planet Zorak, I know it sounds strange. It sounds like my amorphic Power Rangers, which I need to do some research on still. <laughs> um, yeah, just a, a hidden human race that you're connected to. I'll leave you with that. Just what insight can you share on my angelic connection that will help me still feel? Mention healing others since that is the big reason other are clearing past karma. Why contract? Well, you're healing yourself. You're, well, there, you're, it's to keep you where you're at. Not that you won't move, but it's kind of like your health has to do is like kind of keep you in a chair so you can learn. Like in a classroom, it's kind of keep. Not that you're stuck in that. Well, some of us are stuck in our environment. I've been here forever, so yeah. It's so you can get certain details. It's not always about your health. It's about getting your attention and guiding you to the right place to receive information. So you're just healing yourself right now. You don't have to heal the world. Just oh, if you somebody you feel like you need to heal, or somebody you can heal. Nothing stopping you there. Question two, lots of synchronicities on the rise. Me, 
rise with me lately, especially on potential relationships. Any messages opening up? I'm still navigating the health. Yeah, the new relationships is more for, more for conversational reasons. Um, if it needs to go deeper, it's up to you. Uh, but I think it's mostly conversation. Yeah, just get you focus less on your health. I mean, it is a focus, but get your mind off of it. You want to live a little, a little bit, right? It's good. One to eleven. I've had some long-time friends that I and I have known their daughter Caitlin since. She was very young. She's very close to me, more like a niece. Can you please tell me other lifetimes? Well, she's been like a galactic being, a Pleiadian, a friend, a, a spirit guide to you. You've been a spirit guide to her. I think she's been a spirit guide to you more recently. So I think she was also one of your guides before she incarnated here. So... That's a connection. Not one of your main go. Well, yeah. Uh, question two. The same family as first question. I would like to know what lifetimes I've had with her mother, D, uh, sister energy, definitely. I do see a manger scene. I do see biblical time period. Arabic worlds, not the easiest, but the two of you kind of fought through all that. Um, you've had vacation worlds you've been connected to, Palladian worlds, Syrian worlds, where you just take it easy, but you've always come back to this world because this is where the war is. This is where it's all happening. So but it's, it's funny how I see the two of you on different worlds, like vacation plants, like you're just there forever. Just good. <clears throat> We're all begging for that right now, aren't we? <laughs> so that's cool. Yeah, she's like a soul sister. It feels that way. Vasco, any messages from anyone? I see golden cities. I do see Babylon. Yeah. I do see, yeah, war, of course. Um, I mean, there are genies. Or the djinn. But actual genies, I believe, did appear at one time. And not saying... I think you've seen him, but I don't think you really connect to him in the physical. I mean, that wasn't your genie, but uh, in your past, or your work situation, concentrate on your work situation. Things will get better in it. Yes, it's rocky road, get better. There's nothing there to derail you, but you do need a change too. Sometimes when you change that, you just need a change. You just had enough. My girlfriend wanted to know if she had any messages. Uh, yeah, message from the angels. She is very connected to Mother Mary's energy, but mostly, I believe, Mother Earth. And Mother Earth can be very hard-headed um, in a good way. But, yeah, so she has a lot of mood swing moments and all that. It's very similar to, to Mother Earth, too. That You know, look at that, though. I mean, that's connected to Mother Earth. So it's kind of showing her lineage is she is a mother earth of another planet, which I think she is. Which wonder why some people get mood swings and things like that and all that, because your world that you're connected to is going through some stuff. So yeah, there's a lot more to being a female than people might realize. <laughs> Jeez. So I think she's connected to another person. Not saying where I don't know if she's inter interested in connecting to that. I know that some of this stuff can be a little bit heavy. Uh, but you know, you know, you always get that feeling there's something more to this because there is. And when you tell somebody that, they're like, What? So, well, there you go. <clears throat> you know, how you know, do as you wish with it. All right, okay, all right, much love, everyone. Thank you for your uh questions. Back tomorrow, tomorrow's kind of a long day, work wise. I haven't answered anybody in their emails because I'm in work situation. So I don't know how tomorrow's going to go. Tomorrow and Friday are mystery days. So I'll definitely post something tomorrow for sure. But I don't know how my energy is going to be. 
Friday, Neutron, if he's up. If he's not, I think he'll be around. He's been pretty good recently on it. So, but yeah. So, we'll look at tomorrow, tire tomorrow. Yeah, well, I'm doing pretty good tonight so far. So, all right, blessings. Thank you for your support. Take care.